My name is Abhilash. I'm from Hyderabad, Southern India. I got a call telling that, asking me to come to give me my details and this is public safety. Give me all your details. I need to check your passport and all. The public safety officer told me that the uh, I was just suspected from Buffalo Wild Wings. I told why, what did I do? My name is Eugene. I have studied for three months in U.S. While I was uh, attending my university in the Korea, I was uh, in the Association of Marketing. So uh, I was the most leader of the association. But in here, I just a listener. Yeah. I came to America in 2014, August. Um, I came here to do my further studies after undergraduation. I completed my master's in computer science. So it was a very big difficulty for me when I first came to USA. It was a very big language barrier. I, I, as I don't know, American accent and, you know, Americans speak very fluidly English. I was not into very fluid English. And I used to communicate with them in, in a very different manner where they did not understand that in the starting. And, you know, I used to communicate something, but they did not understand. And they will be asking it repeatedly. I'll be trying to tell them the same thing, you know. It was a very big difficulty for me in the starting. But later, as I was moving around, and I got used to it. Actually, in the Korea, a lot of students have to have to study English by school policy, but we are studying just grammar and listening, not speaking. So we almost Koreans are uh, hard to speak in English, even they know the what they wanna say in the sentence. Uh, so in the Korea, I just studied grammar and memorized the vocabulary, uh, but in here. Uh, uh, so I, in here, I can speak very well, but uh, I got a lot of motivation in here. So I saw a lot of videos and I tried to mimic them, like pronunciation and annotation and everything. So almost every day I saw some videos uh, and I typed their script and read them with them, like them. There was an incident I faced in around last year, I mean 2015, November. Uh, it was all about my language and the misunderstanding happened. So it was my friend's birthday and I went to Buffalo Wild Wings. And as I see there are uh, all televisions around. So I wanted to surprise my friend with by uh, preparing a video and so telecasting it in those televisions. So I went to Buffalo Wild Wings and I asked them about like I explained them this is the situation uh, there's my friend's birthday tomorrow and I want to play a video short video which will make make her happy and I explained him but you know he he did not understand what I was saying and he understood something different and uh, he asked me he told me no you cannot do this but I was just I pleased him once that it is very important because it's my friend's birthday 20th birthday tomorrow and it's very important to her this video it will she'll be so happy if it is like this but then he did not understand it and i don't know what he understood but he told okay give your name and number i'll try to do something so i gave my name and number and i left from there later after a week or 10 days i got a call 
telling that asking me to come to give me my details and this is public safety give me all your details i need to check your passport and all then i was thinking maybe it is a spam call as i always receive some of the other spam calls and i was not explain i was not giving them any details and i did not believe them they were telling their public officers public safety officers i did not believe them and i was okay if you, are you really if you are really a public safety officer just come to a police station i can meet you there if you want but i really don't believe you as a public safety officer and i just ended the call later as my i was using that car near buffalo wild wings i went to as i went to buffalo wild wings in car and asked them about this they had video cameras outside the outside the restaurant and they took my card's uh, number plate and they called to my friend that is under whose name it is the car is so my friend answered the call public safety call officer call and he believed in that and he went to the public safety station or police station or something and he called me my friend called me and told uh, this is the situation actually happened it is really a public safety officer uh, they want me they want you to meet you i told why what did i do when the officer came to verify his details i was there and then i was kind of scared because i've never seen cops i was not sure whether it was cops or the public safety people and all so i was inside because they came to my place when he was at my place so i was inside uh, i didn't even bother to just come out and talk to them because i was really scared i have never seen cops coming to my place but later he explained me the public safety officer told me that the uh, i was just suspected from buffalo wild wings uh, person that is he i don't know what the person from buffalo wild wings understood but he he suspected about me that uh, he want i w- i wanted to uh, video record a video of all the buffalo wild wings uh, restaurant and record a video of the uh, customers coming in there and he gave a complaint to public safety officer that a person want to record a video i, I suspect him then i was shocked I, i did not do anything i was like i explained him about my friend's birthday and i wanted to show a video in the restaurant then the public safety officer understood yeah there might be a miscommunication between you and him I was scared and then I was trying to just uh listen to whatever they were speaking outside the room and it went well but that kind of shocked me because I didn't know that people would come to our place and verify details if we go and ask someone for the telecast in their televisions or it's not someone it's buffalo wild wings uh at first of this semester I can't speak uh English very very well like uh I can't speak sentence just I say words I'm hungry like so easy thing so uh I felt uh some barrier of language while I'm doing group project uh because our group members they first uh suggest to do s- together for me uh so I did o- I I I I said okay and we di- we started to do together but um uh, their attitudes was changed i mean at first they was so favorable for me maybe they thought i'm really like good at english so they can speak uh fr- fr- free with me but uh at that time i can't i just say words so Uh, they realized that I can speak English, so uh, they just ignored me. Like, 
uh, even I say some my opinions and my thinking, they didn't hear. They just uh, did uh, with them, not except me. We uh, made plans to meet uh, for a group project yesterday. So I went to the library, but uh, at that time there are nobody. I mean, I went alone and I was alone in the library for our group project. So I did by myself uh, about the, what will we do from now on, our group project, like picking subjects and searching for, searching for it. So I sent something that I sent, uh, that I made and did for them in group chat, but uh, uh, later they answered, it is not good. So they said it's better to do for uh, by themselves. But, uh, and then they made some portion of our group project uh, for our group members. But I, uh, my portion was so little bit. So I said I can do maybe. So uh, I'm sure I can do. But they did just, they will do by themselves, except me. I felt like discrimination because they. I think they underestimate my ability because of my speaking uh, ability in English. Uh, and they think it's better to do with themselves except me because it's hard to communicate with me. Even uh, I, I said I can and I, I want to try, but uh, they didn't think like that. So I felt, I felt sad and until now, I just felt discouraged. Americans, uh, because we're individualistic, we see a group as consisting of five or six individuals. Uh, in a collectivist culture, uh, there's more cultural expectation to work to help each other. So what's important for the group is important for you as a person. So they might be waiting for her to be assertive which is a norm in American culture, but assertive for Americans can be considered aggressive for someone from an Asian culture. So it, it could be language or it could be culture. Uh, she might be unwilling to be aggressive, which would be a cultural difference. I think being in like kind of, I know if I were to ever go to another country and not completely know the language, um, like fully not a native speaker, I would hope that people would reach out to me because you're in a new s situation, a new surrounding. It can be really frightening, I'm sure. For the people who, who are rude to me and who doesn't care about some something, uh, someone, whatever if we tell them they don't care, it's, oh, I feel like there's nothing to tell them. Just leave it like that or, you know, Sometimes the Americans don't have like patience with our accent or language. Like we are learning, we don't know everything about the language or I don't know. I think they they can like be more open-minded. I think the problem is both because uh, maybe one of problem is my speaking in English. It is not problem, but uh, it will be hard to communicate with them. So I understand that they try, they have to try to uh, understand me and try to do uh, something together because we are group, pro group members, but maybe they didn't. So I think the problem uh, was uh, both, I mean, me and them. Oh, the international students have already made a step in coming here, so I think that as American students at an American university, people should take more initiative in becoming friends with students from other countries. They experience something like this and then they realize, they learn from it, because it's a completely different place for us, so it's quite common. I think everybody, like every international student, might face some or the other, if not the same thing, but something like this. Keeping doors open and doors closed. Things like that. Um, 
just these subtle little simple things that you might think, uh, oh, this person, you know, how can they not understand why I would want to have the door closed? But then you have to think, can they really understand why I want to have the door closed when I'm not really understanding why they want to have it open? Oh, was that?